Hey everyone, Dave Jackson here with Penn State Extension. Wanted to talk to you today a little bit about boundary marking. Maintaining your property lines is probably one of the most important things that you can do on your property. This helps to keep you from worrying about trespass issues, knowing where your lines are is really important when you're doing any kind of management work, timber sales, basic plant control, herbicide treatments, whatever it might be. You really have to know where your lines are. This particular property was surveyed about seven years ago. I marked the lines at that time. The surveyor does what they call blazing the property line. This was one of the original blazes that he put on the tree. So it's basically just a chop mark on the tree. Uh, I've painted these seven years ago. Every five to seven years, it's good to come back and repaint those blazes. So I've got a couple of little uh, tidbits that I wanted to share with you. I carry my paint gallon in my backpack. Any latex bright colored paint will do. Uh, I am actually using a tree marking boundary paint though. Um, I carry it in this. This is really ergonomically designed. I can carry it. I don't have to worry about spilling any paint. I can pour it out onto my brush right out of the container. <clears throat> Get my brush soaked with some paint and then I can repaint the blaze mark. See how that shows up there? Get a little bit more on there. Like so, there you go. So now, the way these blazes are oriented, this blaze is actually pointing in that direction. That means the boundary line is somewhere this side of that particular tree. So now we know that tree is marked. That'll help with any kind of trespass issues. We can go ahead and do our management work with knowing that we're not crossing over a boundary line. So with one blaze on that tree, means the boundary line is over here. Let's take a walk up here and I'll show you a different way that a line or a tree is blazed when the tree falls directly on the line. So now this tree is actually directly on the property line. We have a blaze on this side of the tree from the surveyor's mark. And if you come around here, we have another blaze on this side of the tree. So with these two blazes, that indicates that the line goes directly through this tree. So this is a property line tree right on the line. So it's really important that you know where the line is. A lot of folks say, well, I know where the corner markers are, but by knowing the line you are actually now able to really do your management work and keep these these paint marks fresh so that you always know where they are because once they faded and those blaze marks get completely grown over you'll have trouble re-establishing them you might even have to come back and actually have that line surveyed again so you don't want to have to go through that expense but doing your maintenance work typically on a five-year schedule is going to be real important and this work is done is really going to be done in the springtime before you have the leaves come out you can really see where the line is this time of year you can get some fresh paint on those marks and you can see how that really stands out now and by using the container and just an old paintbrush you know this is just an old laundry container you're not spilling any paint as you walk along through the woods carrying an open gallon for example and it's really comfortable to carry in your hand so that's all there is to it folks so get out and mark your property lines one of the most important things that you can do as far as the maintenance of your property is concerned thanks